Hi, Dr. Gundry here. If you have a sweet tooth, that makes two of us. I know I'm Mr. Health Guy right now, but I used to be a bona fide chocoholic. My number one weakness was M&Ms. I could never eat just one, or even just 30. Of course, I had to stop eating that kind of stuff eventually because it was ruining my health. You know, after all, I was 70 pounds overweight, pre-diabetic, hypertensive, the works. You know what helped me kick the habit? Knowing I didn't have to give up chocolate, that's what. You see, chocolate's been shown to have a huge range of health benefits. It's loaded with polyphenols that can improve your heart health, your brain health, your skin health, even your mood. But that doesn't mean you should go out and buy a Snickers bar or even a fancy bar of designer chocolate. You see, most chocolate sold in stores isn't good for you because it's loaded with other unhealthy ingredients. In fact, the chocolate sold in stores is sometimes as little as 10% actual chocolate. The rest is often milk, sugar, and other fattening harmful ingredients. That's why you'll want to look for chocolate that's at least 70% cacao. That means actual 70% chocolate. And don't be afraid to go stronger. There are 85%, 92% chocolate bars out there, and even completely unsweetened chocolate, if you can handle it. My suggestion is to work your way up. Eventually, you'll get used to bitter chocolate, which means it's pure and loaded with polyphenols. Just remember, when it comes to chocolate and polyphenol content, more bitter, more better. That's why you should avoid dutched chocolate. Now, this looks really good, but on the back, you'll actually see the word dutching or alkali. That means all the polyphenols are gone. What you should find, which looks almost identical, is to look at the back and notice that there's no Dutch or no alkali. Then you know you got the real thing. In fact, rather than strip away the benefits, I'd like to show you a way you can amplify the benefits of your chocolate. You see, a new study found that one of my favorite foods, olive oil, can help you do just that. This study was performed at the University of Pisa in Italy. It found that eating chocolate together with olive oil actually helped improve people's cardiovascular health markers. You know, it makes sense. Stacking polyphenols has been shown to increase their effectiveness. But here's the thing about that study. It found that the olive oil chocolate combination was more effective than other polyphenol stacks. Now I know, chocolate and olive oil sounds like a strange combo at first glance. But if you do it right, it's actually delicious. Let me show you a way I like to do the olive oil chocolate polyphenol stack. To do this stack, I use four ingredients. Heart defense, my new high-grade heart health chocolate powder. Unsweetened coconut milk. Extra virgin olive oil pure vanilla extract. And just in case you're interested, we can make it mocha chocolate by putting in some coffee. So in a blender, I blend one scoop of the Heart Defense, eh, nice generous scoop, about a cup of unsweetened coconut milk. Try to get it in the BPA-free can, please. That's about right. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Fantastic. And then about two tablespoons of olive oil. And quite frankly, the more the better. And you know, sometimes I add a little extra cocoa powder or even a shot of espresso. Here I've got some really nice cold brew coffee. Let's put it in and have a mocha today. And then if you really want to treat, get yourself some ice cubes because we're going to make the best milkshake you ever had in your life without the milk. Okay, so we're going to put it in a high-speed blender. I like the Vitamix or the Blendtec, and we're good to go. Take it off. Oh, this is going to be yummy. You know, this turns out to be like one of those devilishly bad drinks at Starbucks that's actually good for you? Oh, mocha freeze. So, give it a shot.
In any case, make sure to keep high cacao chocolate as part of your regular diet. Not just because it's delicious, because it's great for you too. And again, when it comes to chocolate, more bitter, more better. Never forget that. So go for the darkest chocolate possible. Start with at least 72% cacao. I'm Dr. Gundry and I'm always looking out for you. Thanks for watching. Click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click on the left to watch another great video and don't forget to visit my website for more of my best tips because I'm Dr. Gundry and I'm always looking out for you.